everybody. Welcome back. Rolling off this week here from the, the SK Modified series at Concord. Uh, it was not a good week last week. Tempted an SK, a late model, an Arca. I uh, got wrecked in all three of them. Most of the wrecks were not my fault. I didn't have great reactions. Felt really down on myself. Uh, so just took the rest of the week off from any racing and just wanted to do kind of a short reset so jump back in this week a little less practice than what I initially wanted to do I uh, just kind of came back when I felt like it so managed to put it on the pole although literally tied the 14 for lap time so I don't know we'll see it's Concord I'm never a great year we'll see if we can get a hang of it 40 laps just gonna try to keep it as clean okay, as possible nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. get ready to go somewhere out of turn three easy so that I don't wash up into them. Go, go, go. Got a massive jump on them that's going to help. I'm just going to hope that I don't overheat the right front. 14 gets shoved up seven worlds by him. Got a massive lead which is going to help with entry into turn three. What I racing would call four and five. What I call three. Hoping this race is boring. Got smoke up ahead already so it's never a good sign. There's the lap car, or who will be a lap car? Who's got an engine down? The guy behind is just. See how long they go? They pull down eight. low, going into pit road to get that fast repair doesn't affect us at all. Oh, come on. Let's see what we could do. I have the shot on for right yeah, now. Right. Time considered turning it off because of people yelling and dumb stuff that made me angry, but. We'll leave it on for right now and see if I can not get upset by it. Looks like we've got a big wreck. A bunch of people all on the pit road. So if nothing else happens, <laughs> we'll take a look what happened there. Sitting on a nice one second gap now. right now. Got a slow car down low. That was the four. He pulled low. And he just, yep, towed back to pit road. Last time by the seven was quite a bit quicker than me. I really feel like I'm not driving the car very hard at all. So, might have to pick the pace up a Be little bit if the 7 keeps up. catching. Consider he's laying down nine. quicker laps. But, kind of hoping maybe he's pushing it too hard. That lap was our 15. And I'll be able to uh, start clicking off. You can see when I drive turn one a little bit better I was able to pick up some okay, time yeah, compared to that in the pits. Heads up. that time will definitely pick up which will start to somewhat mirror his pace he was only a hundredth faster that time got to be a little more consistent he picks up a tenth right side is the 14's second and a half back from him so That's a new fastest lap for pressure Burnett. 15128 It's going to be all about navigating the exit off of turn 3. Well, is not clipping the apron. It's transition sharp enough it will upset the car. And then when we get there, navigating lap traffic as well. I feel like I'm sliding it a bit too much over driving it. We'll see. Got the 11 coming up first. I think this was a weaker field. I didn't see what it was when I pulled yeah, I'm on right or side. when I joined in. Clear five. Clearly 11. Unfortunately, I hit him in a bad spot, so it allowed the seven to cut the gap in half, basically. Just keep that working it though. 50. Four, Getting closer to the halfway mark, not quite there yet. Definitely prefer this week. As much as I'm not good at Concord, I prefer this week over five flags last week. I thought that was just too much on the throttle. It wasn't a lot of fun to drive. Right go to the inside of the five. Clear outside. Coming up on ah, really bad turn three there. Clear outside. 
Seven, I thought was going to look to the inside on the front stretch. He wisely backs out. Five's not going to close up enough or dive inside of him. I wouldn't have been completely upset with that. Just because it would have bought me a little more of a gap. Although, it would have been a pretty bad move by the five. So it did allow the ten to pull away. Now I've got the seven almost on our back bumper. Like I said, I'm really hoping that they're overheating the right front and it'll start to hurt center grip in the second half of the race but we'll see it's pretty hard to kill these escades too bad it's like we're kind of stabilizing that gap with him that was at 15. i don't feel like i'm driving it all that hard so oh we got one on the wall that was the 13. Oh, he cut up in front of us. Now he goes high. Navigating lap traffic and hitting it the right way is a massive key. There we go. Now we open up another tenth or so on the seven. Okay, Jake. That's half distance. Pure Halfway down. Ah, terrible exit off the three. Had to jump on the brakes to keep it from slamming the outside wall. And now I just pushed in one. Yep, seven smelling blood. With that exit out of three, that also leaned on the right front too much. I think he knows he's got the advantage right now. Just got to reset. Drive it like I was a few laps ago. Wait on the throttle a little bit more in the center of three, and then I can get back on it. Not feeling the little bit of the right front heat in one and two. I'm definitely feeling it in three. Could just be overdriving the entry as well. Looks like we're actually probably running similar lap times to the 10. Because we're not really catching them anymore. Ten and the six are the two lap cars up ahead. Pretty sure like half the field has just gotten plunked yeah, by Rex. Yeah, There's a rack up high. That was the three complaining. And the arguments start back on the chat. No pressure at all behind the seven. It is just myself and the seven battling for first and second. The five is, or the three is continuing to sit up high. Uh, not really sure what the heck he's doing. You've just done a 15.58. 10 is catching the 6 up ahead. The 3 finally pulls off the outside wall in turn 3. 10 got by the 6. You can see on the standings overlay 9 the 14 are quite a bit back, so literally no pressure there. Got a good exit out of three compared to the seven. That Opened up that gap 15. a little bit more. Five, five. Slight clip of the apron there. He closes back up in turn one. We're going to have 10 to go when I cross the line. Trying to take a little bit of a later entrance to get a little bit of a better exit out of three. Your last lap time was Definitely getting 15, beat in one that time in two since I went way too high in two. I feel like I've been doing better in three compared to the seven. Six gave us the inside line into three. Thank you to him. Lap cars for the most part have actually been really reasonable in this race. At least around me. I don't know if the 14 had the pace the to run was third. 50, I think 64. he qualified like fourth or fifth. Um, wait, no, he was the pole sitter or second place. He was on my outside. So, never mind, he qualified second. Good run by him, even though he's 
quite a bit no, back I'm in terms of 50, ah, or distance, but I'd run for him to run third place in this race. Seems like almost everybody's gotten caught up in some sort of carnage, so good for him. Okay, that's my first Turn one there a little bit. I was at seven to close back up. We're gonna have four to go when we cross the line. Stay high. He's gonna look to the bottom. Try to give him the inside, get the run, hopefully. Got to get back to defending that inside a little bit better. He's getting... He's going to get aggressive now that we're closing in on the last few laps. So, need to give up a little bit of lap time just to protect that bottom line. You just done a Cannot afford to wash up six at all. See to go this time. Jake, two laps left. Your P1. Trying to hang on to it. Thankfully, the ten's definitely quick enough that he is not a factor at all. White flag now in the air. Last time around. One more lap for the win. Come on. Try to see as long as we can protect turn three. Yep. All right. Glad to grab the win. Was not a easy race. By any means, it wasn't like a uh, easy cruise that I could just pull away, but it could have been a good race. But that was a lot of fun uh, for the two of us, at least. Coming out of turn two. The four X twelve. Fun needed, but all right. Great drive, seven. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for the uh, clean race, and really appreciate it. Yeah, I had a good battle with the uh, with the seven. I think that was a lot of fun. So. Uh, yeah, we'll just pull it off, take a look at whatever happened. Uh, like I said, not really much on my end. Um, get the overlay off, look at the tires, see what was up there. 94, 93, 191, 198, so pretty happy with the tire wear. Um, definitely felt like I was doing a good job of keeping it off that right front, kind of using the right rear to rotate it, uh, but not sliding it a ton overheating it in relation to the, to the right front so I think that allowed me to keep a uh, fairly consistent balance. I had that, that little bit of that change there especially in turn three where I felt like it was starting to uh, kind of push in the center of the corner up a little bit so just backed up the entry point a little bit the breaking point and uh, just waited a little bit longer on uh, full throttle and that really seemed to help out so I bet you if I didn't have any of the lap traffic I felt like pushing I probably could have uh, started pushing the pace a little bit more of the end of the uh, the race the last you know 15 laps or so and I don't I don't know if the 7 would have uh, been able to get there or not, but looks like uh, <laughs> the 14 didn't have any incident points, the 7 didn't have any, and I didn't have any. Everybody else had at least 4x, which it's easy to get them in this series. Uh, cars, this, and the Tour Mods are just really crazy sensitive with contact, but uh, yeah, I paid to be up front and uh, out of the carnage, apparently, so let's take a look. Everything that happened was a... Uh, it was a brutal one, so four and the 14 side by side. Or just gets loose, climbs the wall, comes back down, gets the eight, and I think that was, was it the six. Let's see who he got. No, that was the ten that got in there. Nope, I lied. That was one car ahead. That was the. No, it was the six. Yeah, so. Or gets the outside wall, comes down, gets the eight, gets the six. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, let's look at it from the six's perspective. Maybe <sighs> he's got one right behind him. He's got the 12 right behind him, so he can't really check up. Let's see what it looks like from inside the car. Yeah, no, he couldn't really do anything. I mean, you kind of could have seen the four or guessed that he was through the eight, but you didn't, you didn't really have much of a shot. So uh, that was on lap one. Crack one. Let's see, then you got the ten hitting the wall, gets into the five, sends the five around, and the five gets the one because the five didn't hold the brakes. Let's see. Yeah. He gets it there, and he just rolls it off the track. The one thought the five was going to stab the brakes, which is why he guessed going high, I'm sure. Yeah. And the five just rolls it up. 
That's what I'm gonna assume. I don't think the five had the brakes on. So then the one gets involved. And we got, that's the classic. Too tight in the center of three, pushes you out. 14 goes by, I'm gonna assume everything else is gonna be wall taps likely. This is the nine. This is the push up deal. Ah, so that was net code. That was the three. And that was him arguing with, uh, what, the nine? Yeah. So let's look at it from the nine's perspective. Nine's holding a fairly consistent line on the wall, honestly. Like, I think, I think the three, yeah, the three does turn right to try to set himself up for that, that higher entry, you know, in the cut down. He comes up a little bit. I don't really think, I don't really think the nine came down all that much, but it, it, honestly, like, it just starts as a big amount of net code. And then it sucked them together, and at that point, then the contact happened. But it happened after they had already technically been together, so. And then the three just sat up there yelling for a while. Not really sure what the whole point of that was, but, um. Yeah, I don't know if he was waiting for the nine or what he was going to do. I don't know. Uh, it, it, it's kind of a racing deal to me. I don't think he really did anything wrong, to be honest. I don't think either one, I mean... The three made the move to the right a little bit. Probably should have just sacrificed the entry. And, uh, you know, either fallen in line behind them or tried to get to the throttle a little bit earlier in the center of the three. But I, that was net code at its finest, honestly. That, that was net code that was a bit rough. So, um, yeah, I don't think there was a ton else after that. But it was a lot of fun with the seven. I'm uh, really glad we were able to run clean. Let's look at, actually, let's look at that last, like, two laps. Um, that was when he almost got underneath us. Was it this one? That was lap. It was here, 39, I believe. Let's see, because he took a look inside of us on three, I believe. Yeah, you can see. Oh, I lied. Not that lap. A couple laps ahead of myself. So, let's go back. I think it was here on lap 36. It probably wasn't even as close as it looked in my mirror. Yeah, he just jumps to the bottom to try to get inside. He actually backs out. I kind of just gave him the high line, and I was able to get enough of a run and cut through. So, I mean, really respectful racing by him. He easily, like, I've seen so many people just stuff it in there, and he easily could have done it, washed up, and taken both of us out. Uh, so, definitely really respectful by him. I appreciate that. That was a lot of fun. Uh, he was definitely a bit faster up front, and then I kind of settled in a little bit and kind of evened out the times a little bit. So, uh, probably be my only one this week for this. Uh, I hate, I don't hate Concord. I'm just terrible at it. So, just going to take the good result while I can and uh, focus on uh, late model in Arkansas. So, hopefully you guys enjoy that one. Let me know if you have any questions, if you guys run it, how you guys do, and uh, hopefully I keep the, uh, the better racing going forward. So, until the next one, I hope all your laps are fast, your races are clean, and your finishes are good. Thanks for watching.